The way you order your exercise selection is very important and highly dependent on the purpose of your training and the goals that you set for yourself. Now there's some conventional wisdom when it comes to exercise order, such as performing multi-joint exercises before single joint exercises, large muscle areas before small muscle areas, and performing exercises like snatches and power cleans before non-power compound and single joint exercises. Uh, these are great guidelines to follow as a general rule. Since power exercises require the highest level of skill and concentration, and they're usually more fatiguing than non-power exercises. And we all know that if you're fatigued, you'll be more prone to poor technique and injury on the following exercises uh, in your training session. So yes, these are good general guidelines to follow, but what you need to know about how to order your exercises are really these two things. First, whatever you want to improve upon the most, do that at the beginning of your training session when you're fresh. And second, whatever order of exercises allows you for greater adherence to your program, choose that order. Now the reason for doing whatever exercise you're trying to improve upon the most first is simple. The fresher you are in your training session, the more energy and concentration you have to put towards those first exercises. So if your goal is hypertrophy and you're wanting to improve your bench press or do more volume on your back muscles with uh, high volume rows, for example, then these should be the first exercises you perform in your training session. Now, if you're someone whose goal is to lose body fat or enhance cardiovascular endurance, then you'd want to prioritize your cardiovascular training before resistance training, since this type of training will likely burn more calories than your resistance training would. Uh, because cardio would be the first thing you'd be doing, you'll have plenty of energy to push your cardiovascular system, thus improving your endurance in a shorter amount of time, uh, but also increasing your total calorie burn for that workout. Now, uh, it would be ideal to separate cardio and, from strength training by doing them in separate sessions or during separate days, considering the potential negative impact that concurrent training can have on uh, strength and hypertrophy in particular. Uh, but if you're strapped for time or frankly just don't care because strength or hypertrophy isn't your immediate focus, uh, then combining endurance with strength training in the same session is perfectly fine so long as you focus first on what you want to improve upon the most. And lastly, choosing your order of exercises that allow you to enjoy your workout is paramount. Personally, I like to get my late workout done first when I'm training full body because they're my least favorite exercises. I'd rather rip the bandaid off quickly when I train by getting these done sooner rather than later so I can enjoy the remainder of my training session. Uh, you might have the opposite feeling, and that's perfectly fine. At the end of the day, the way you order your exercises should primarily be driven by first working out what you, on what you want to improve upon the most, followed by what is the most enjoyable way to structure your workout. Uh, because, let's face it, uh, if you aren't seeing progress on an exercise you want to improve on, or you don't like doing squats after jogging, then your adherence to your training program is going to suffer, and you won't want to train at all. And not training is not an option. That's all I have for this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about anything I talked about, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.